Hello Donuts, today we will be watching Come Fly With Me's Most Outrageous Moments. And as this video goes on, the more difficult these clips are going to be to watch. So enjoy yourself. Just need to ask you a couple of security questions. Did you pack the cases yourself? Yes we did, unfortunately we didn't receive any help from the seven dwarves. <laughs> this is such a good skit because most older couples are like this. Have you ever like met like an older couple where like the, the wife's like really cheery and like full of life and the husband just hates her, despises her for it, hates that she loves life so much. Your bags contain any sharp objects? No, only the bare necessities. <laughs> <We're both> <laughs> that man wishes that his suitcase contained a sharp object, so when he gets there, he can do something to end all of this. We've actually bought a personal DVD player with us so he can watch the Aristocats on the fly. We watched that one last night. Yeah, but you do actually have to watch the Aristocats more than once to really appreciate the nuances. No, I get film. that. I get that. With some shows, you have to watch them twice to really, you know, get get the, the beauty of them. I shouldn't really like it because I am actually allergic to cats. She comes out in a rash. But luckily, these are cartoon cats, so they never come out the screen. I'm telling you, when Bambi... That is lucky, to be fair. Uh, that, that would be awful if uh, if you were allergic to cats, but also cartoon cats. You would hate James Corden. How could he play a cat when people have allergies to that? How could that man do such a thing? You'd hate Top Cat. You'd hate Tom and Jerry. Oh, my God, you wouldn't be able to watch Tom and Jerry without getting bloody X, my man. The early morning Our Lady air flight from Cork has hit turbulence, but cabin crew member Fergal... He's quick to reassure his parents. Just before we watch this, what's like the worst turbulence you've ever had? Like, let us know in the comments. I remember I had turbulence once. Like, my mom works on aeroplanes, and even she was crying. And I was like, wait, if she's crying and she's on flight all the time, maybe, maybe I should start saying a prayer. I wasn't crying though, because I was actually quite depressed. I was like, oh, this is either either way this goes. I'm I'm kind of satisfied with it. It's Brandon O'Bear. Oh, I'd like guy. to be your best friend. Bless him. Oh, say thank <laughs> you. Nice thank you. 35-year-old. Ah, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Last year they did that to me. They offered me the the bear with the goggles on. I took it in 35. Never again. On holiday, you want some sunglasses? Oh, well, it is quite sunny. 20 quid. Oh, I did that, like, actually, for, like, for, for real. I did that, like, uh, a couple of weeks back. I went on a night out, and the guy that worked in the toilet uh, said if I wanted, like, a like a Jamaican-style loom band. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have it. And he was like, fiver. I was like, oh, well, it does, it does complement my outfit quite well. Ian Foote is the airport's chief immigration officer. His job is to prevent illegal immigrants from entering the UK. Working in immigration, you do sometimes get labelled with the racism tag. I do take my job very seriously. Do you know what's weird about, like, you know, when you come back from holiday and you have to get your passport checked? Don't you feel like a criminal? Like, that's every time I'm like, oh, they're not going to let us in. They're not going to... They're not... When I sold that thing on eBay, I got a bad review. They're not going to let us in. You know what I mean? Like, if you start, like, contemplating all the bad choices you've ever made and if this means that you can't come back in. In fact, one of my best friends is friends with a man who's black. That is true, right? You, how can you be racist if your friend is friends with somebody that is black? How can you be racist? Isn't that just the... <laughs> that is just, like... <laughs> this show is so good at, like... Nailing stereotypes, like how many times do you hear that? Oh, how can I be racist? I got black friends. It's like, yeah, but that, that means nothing. That literally means nothing. Earlier today, Ian stopped a passenger at Passport Control, whom he believes is trying to gain unlawful access into the country. Do you understand why I have brought you here? No, I don't. Well, it's clear to me. Why is he speaking in my like? Like, he's helping her learn the alphabet. <laughs> Do you know in primary school, they're like, A, B, C. I always wonder why, like, primary school teachers always, like, pronounce something. They always talk like this, like, you know, with very, very wide mouth. I'm like, close that mouth, love. I can hear you just fine. That you've got a forged passport. No, I haven't. Oh, it's a forgery, all right. Very good one, I'll grant you that. But, uh, there is one slight giveaway. And what is that? There is no such country as... Liberia. Nothing gets past this, man. Liberia, you've just made that one up, love. I actually have uh, been to a country that is next to Liberia. I actually have. I swear down. Mrs. Mumbutu, would you be so kind as to point out the location of this so-called Liberia? There. <laughs> 
Oh yes. Just hidden underneath Sierra Leone. <laughs> Literally one of the biggest rated. This show is like, it is offensive. Like this is offensive, but like I, I, they're they're, they're taking the piss out of uh, the passport control. Do you know what I mean? So does that mean it's allowed, or does that mean it's not allowed? What do you think? Just quickly, seventy six point one percent of you donuts are not subscribed to the channel. Press subscribe now so you never miss a video. Quick. And it's always been his dream to work in the aviation industry. I really, really, really want to be a pilot, but I found out that you have to have passed lots of exam. Ex Test. Yeah, I don't want this man flying my plane. Can you imagine the the lo the lo the um the local lo local time is um um uh, <laughs> instead is to get myself a job at the airport and then work my way up to being a pilot. That's how they all start. Uh, Every single person that works in the Burger King at Newcastle International Airport eventually becomes a pilot. We all know this. Cheeseburger. Press cheeseburger. Large chocolate milkshake. Press large chocolate milkshake. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh my god, I can't watch this one. I'm really excited about today as it goes, because I just qualified as a steward. This is my first ever flight. And you know, being a steward's great, you know? Uh, the money's not bad, you get to travel a lot and uh, meet loads of birds, alright? <laughs> Lasagna or cock van. Design your cocko van. <laughs> I had a cocko van last night. All right. Yeah. My friends just bought a transit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How can you like you know a lot of a lot of gay guys do do um cabin crew. How could you be homophobic and also be cabin crew? How could you be homophobic in general but homophobic and and cabin crew? On your cocko van. I might be wrong, but I got a feeling that the guy I'm with What is cocko van? Not cocking my ass. <laughs> That's an in between us reference. I, if you haven't seen that, that would have been very weird. That's Coco Van. For some reason, I expected it had something to do with penis. Working with could be gay. I get you, but uh, I ain't got nothing against them, but I'm not one myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtly mention it. <laughs> <laughs> this is nailed down to like like a proper like Barry Brexit. I, I don't I don't mind them, you know, being you know gay. Just don't do it in front of my face, right? Then we're all all right. It's like who's doing that? Who's being gay in front of your face? People just coming up to your face and snogging. Surely, surely it doesn't matter what sexuality that is. It's weird anyway. Oh, you know, they're just watching bloody Drag Race in front of me face. Oh, if anything, it's just free TV. That's what my girlfriend likes. Oh, great. Right. Yeah. I bought for me girlfriend because me girlfriend likes it because I really love me girlfriend. <laughs> As if that man would want to shag you anyway. Every day, thousands of items of luggage pass through the airport. They're sorted by handers like John. <laughs> I feel like they do this though with your suitcase. Like every time you get your suitcase back, you're like that. I'm sure they're ten marks weren't on it. They just literally go fuck off. <laughs> Nah, this ain't the easiest job in the world, this. Uh, all people do is moan about us, don't they, Dad? Yeah. They say we're always on strike or always stealing stuff from the luggage. Yeah, but if we're on strike, we can't be stealing stuff from the luggage, can we? And if we're stealing stuff from the luggage, well, we must be at work. So the idea that we're always doing both at the same time is just not true. That's true, actually. Right? This man has clearly never heard of multitasking. See, the thing is, if we're supposed to get a bag on a flight to New York and we miss it, we just sling it on a plate to Delhi. Then at least that way, the passengers got the peace of mind of knowing that their bag has left London. They're, they're joking, but sometimes I actually feel like the people who, who load the, uh, the, the, the suitcases actually think like this. I remember one time I went on holiday and my suitcase just wasn't there. I was like, how? How does this even happen? Toilets take up too much space on plane. If it is an hour flight, two hours to Rome, to Paris, you can hold it in. That is literally Ryanair. I feel like if Ryanair could, they will just remove the seats. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you would just stand. If they could make you stand, I think they would. They'd have people hanging off the edge of the plane, man. Do you know like when people do that jet skiing thing? They would do that if they could. There would genuinely be packages for that. This seat, life jacket. This seat, life jacket. This it. Life jacket soon. <laughs> that is genuinely right, there, though. Fiverr, 
life jacket. Well, if we crash, do you want one? You might as well pay it. You're like, oh, well, I, I guess I, I guess that's right. I guess I should have to pay for a life jacket. Yeah. Oh, look at you, eh? Who's a handsome wee fella? Look at you, eh? <laughs> I just need to put him in the overhead locker. <laughs> Madam, I told you before, turn that phone off, please. Because if that's how you'd react, you'd be like, oh, yeah, actually, that... Uh, yeah, but I keep him safe up there. No, you'd be fuming if 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 a cabin crew put my baby in the overhead locker. You think I'm just gonna sit there? If it was quiet, maybe. To be fair, sometimes have you ever been on like the same flight next to a crying baby? Sometimes you wish that they would just put them in the overhead locker just for a second. No, I don't. That's the in that's the intrusive thought speaking out loud there. <laughs> this is the most iconic. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Such a... <laughs> Wasn't like I'm pretty sure she asked him to look after the dog and the dog died or something. That is the worst appetizer for a holiday ever. The weather is clear and bright, no chance of showers. If you'll pardon the pun. <laughs> She's quite a character, if you'll pardon the pun. Just to put your mind at rest, if you'll pardon the pun. And I have my own charity called Wish Wings, if you'll pardon the pun. Wish Wings, if you'll... <laughs> the fact that actually is people like this who go on like this, if you pardon the pun, it's like that, that wasn't... Just, just pardon it. Just pardon it. That, but that wasn't a, that wasn't a pun, my friend. Come with me, madam, because we can now check you in electronologically, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but I do need to make sure that your bag fits into the overhead locker, though, isn't it? Well, it's not going to fit in there, is it? Oh. Oh, no. No, well, you'll better join the back of the queue then, isn't it? This is ridiculous. You couldn't get anything in there. No, I know. Me and my mates was mucking about last night. I couldn't even get me cock in it. <laughs> God, I could. I could get bloody... Do we mine in? Sorry, that's weird. What am I saying? Great British Air stewardess Penny is thrilled that Princess Anne is planning to fly with the airline next week. I'm not surprised that the princess has chosen to fly with us. It's well known that we do provide the finest first-class service. For example, all our stewardesses are now trained in massage therapy. So on long-haul flights, we can offer shiatsu, Swedish, deep tissue, all of which come with a happy ending. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, what is the... What was the name of this flight company? I just want to check if they're... They've got any good duty free deals. They're so impressed with me. They've actually made me be assistant supervisor. So now it's my job to train up the new staff. Beautiful. At the start of the video, we watched you kind of crumble when someone ordered a cheeseburger. Now you're running the gaff. I love it. Burger. Burger. Fresh burger. I want this. Fresh burger. Could you imagine, like, ordering food and and and, and seeing this? This, this man. One more thing he wants to do while he still has the buggy. Hey, Lisa, does he want a ride? It's all right, thank you. Oh, go on. No, I'm fine. Oh, go on, babes. I got the, I got the wagon today, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, get on the pussy wagon. Come on. OK. Go on. Wicked. Oh, the wagon. Yeah, such good riz. This guy's risen up the whole entire gaff. Ugh. Love it. Taj, teach me your ways. That lady looks so comfortable. It's going to be a quiet day anyway. We only had two passengers booked into first class and the passengers in question have just cancelled, which is a dreadful shame. Hi, Penny. Did you get the message? Yeah, such a pity they cancelled. No, 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 no. The message about helping is out in economy. Piss off. <laughs> Penny hasn't had to work in economy for 20 years, but today she has no choice. <laughs> This is so good! This is so funny! Oh my god! Now, the first thing that really hits you is the stench. I mean, they're virtually <laughs> the like. <laughs> yeah, all of us. That's, that's the stench I've got. In one of my previous videos, I asked you to say what I'd smelt like. And some people, the answer some of you gave was awful. Wait, I'm gonna read out a couple. You smell like Greg's? What's that supposed to mean? You smell like a ball sack mixed with Lynx Africa. Well, that would be a good smell and ball sack. Boiled pennies, someone said. Who boils pennies? Anyway, this is so funny, this one. It's so funny because I feel like people are actually like this. Have you ever walked in, like, a, an expensive clothing shop? Like, a, like an end. Do you know what end is? It's, like, a, where it stocks loads of, like, 
I don't know, brands like Stone Island and all that. The people that work there are like, look at you up and down, like, <laughs> I'm like, what are you looking at us like that for? You can't even afford the jackets in here as well. You just get a discount, that's why you're wearing them. They like apes, you know, so if you, if you come at them with some food, <laughs> they start attacking you. Hot towel? Hot towel? Hot towel? I'm all right, thanks. No, you should take a hot towel. I, I don't want it. <clears throat> <laughs> oh that is actually funny that is dead self-aware comedy i love that anyway guys if you would like to watch me react to little britain click right here or if you want to watch me react to clips from a different british tv show click here right right now